Dear Diary, October 34th. I was staring at my mentally challenged brother and attempting to burn him with my thoughts. My new powers weren't working as well as they had with the broom. Was the broom a coincidence? I decided to attempt to read Gibson's thoughts to make sure that my powers worked, so I listened closely. Absolutely nothing. Just as I suspected, his brain was empty. My new powers are amazing. I grew tired of staring at his fluffy, hideous face and I wanted him to go away. Todd is gonna kill you! Finally, a moment to myself. But then, all of a sudden... Celestia! The wild howls of my human slave, he was coming for me. Kitty, I want to show you something. Please don't bring the camera. Please don't bring the camera. Kitty, kitty, look what I got. Aw, oh, fuck me. Hey, I want to make a talking kitty video. I need to introduce you to Penny. Sylvester. My human is relentless. Always dangling food over my head, trying to get me to beg for the camera for some talking kitty series. Stupid human. Just turn the camera around, record yourself, and call it the Talking Human Man series. Sylvester! Oh. Kitty, fine. If you don't want to make a talking kitty video, we don't have to. But I am going to still introduce you to Penny. I don't know what Sylvester's deal is lately. He won't let me make a talking kitty video. He just won't participate. All he says anymore is burn, whatever the hell that means. I just wanted to introduce him to Penny. Oh, I bet I know what it is. He probably thinks Penny's another kitty cat. I don't want him to be jealous. I better go set him straight. Sylvester, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, do you want to meet Penny? Darn. Come on, she's just a stuffed animal. Hey, Sylvester, kitty, what the hell? It's just a stuffed penguin. I don't understand what the hell a Dear diary, humans are sick, twisted animals with no sense of compassion. I'll have to learn how to use my new powers to destroy the monster penguin that my human brought home to kill me. I'll write again soon. Real soon.